the there is a congestion in coastal communities. Thus, it affects the social um, social services, the, the, the ability of the government to provide social services such as health health care and um, education. So, um, because of this, um, this project aims to increase awareness amongst this local community as to environmental sanitation as well as the different diseases that can be acquired in for due, due to poor practices, for example, especially sanitation, where we can see that there are lots of families, or most of the families do not have adequate sanitary toilets, and they just throw this everywhere. Um, the objective of this program is to also develop skills and attitude in terms of how the community will see environmental sanitation that could directly affect them as a family and as a community in general. So the output would be, there will be two programs that will be conducted. First, the first one is the Panda of Health, um, health Education Program, um, coupled with, with well, Wellness Booth, where families will be gathered in one place, and um, there will be health education to talk about um, environmental sanitation, the different diseases, as well as um, best practices that they can apply to uh, for their families. So, two minutes. Partners would include, of course, um, the College of Nursing of the Bird Hospital, of which I am um, a part of, because um, this will be a pioneer program for that particular community. We have um, similar programs conducted in other coastal uh, communities, but this will be the first time um, that we adopt this particular community to start with this particular program. Aside from that, uh, after the um, health education program, weeks after, that will start the construction of the toilet facility, meaning the toilet construction will not go together with the health education because um, nursing students will have community immersion in this community. So it will take um, four to six weeks where students will be involved in this particular community. So the series of educations, that, the education that will be conducted will be throughout this program. And the toilet, construction of toilet facility will be done um, after the education program and health education program. So after the program, there will be post activity that will be done, which is the on-site observation of the local community where we get to evaluate whether or not there was change in behavior as to how the, the family practice uh, environmental sanitation. So environmental sanitation would include as well the garbage, disposal, as well as the human manure. And then also, um, there will be presentation of the results of the evaluation as well as um, the giving out of the certificates to the local communities who partnered with the program. Um, it's similar to a um, this toilet. Um, um, our, our similar programs that we have implemented would involve uh, metal drums. So two metal drums. They, these are usually donated by the armed forces of the Philippines, which they put on um, their gasoline. So they usually donate like several drums. And what we do is that we we form a hall on top. So we have two drums on top that will serve as the septic tank. So we dig certain amount up, we dig deeper into the soil and put this drug and we have to seal the two drugs that were that were joined together. So on top of this will be a concrete there will be concrete that will be placed in the bow. And then it will be surrounded with NIPA um, the NIPA, NIPA side as well as the roof so that it will be um, low cost sanitary toilet. Not the, it will not be complete, the entire toilet will be complete, but uh, only the flooring of the, the toilet. And have you have evidence from uh, the places that these toilets that people actually use them? Um, we already have implemented, uh, I believe, four communities have implemented because the program is not just for the first semester. We have first semester and second semester. So there are students that um, continuously go to the area. So it can be done as a pioneer. And in the second semester, another group can increase the number of, depending on the needs of the community. And how long does a toilet lab like this last? Usually, um, 
based from the city engineer and the sanitary sa, sanitary engineer it can last up to three years, two to three years. What happens after three years? Um, usually after to another. Yes, we we remove the concrete and we um we dump uh, with soil and all of that. We usually do not dig very deep because it can also it might contaminate the water supply. So usually just the two drums will be two drums on uh, put on top of, on top with each other that will be safe according to the sanitary engineer. Okay. And these are you're doing this in the coastal community? Yes, in coastal community. I like the fact that you have constant um, they have the education is an ongoing thing. Yes. I like that. Um, because uh, and then when you said the construction of the well
So, if you do not use toilet, ah, toilet paper, they prefer to use water to clean after they. Um, everything. After everything. No, only so, one. Who really comes from the city of the villages? The best is newspaper. That's what they offer to me. That's the reality. Some time. So I think Gemelina is one um, uh, ideal 
tree to be planted because it, it is not um, quite high for like um, early towards or nor does it um, bear. So uh, I for for this uh, project I have bought the the uh, pre pre implementation would involve uh, getting the seedlings, getting um, volunteers from different organizations in our school in um, some manga base that that is the um, Jefferson Society and I will be part um, in partnership with Ateneo Peace and Cultural Institute but how can I assure you that my project will be sustainable? First and foremost, um, our, since I am a volunteer in, in the Ateneo Peace and, and Culture Institute, um, we are going there every Saturday in order to ensure um, like the, the help that we are giving them is well uh, monitored. Um, one project that, 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 that we did there is um, trying to provide them the classrooms to be added in, in, in that particular meeting. So, um, according to the teachers, they need they need me to or like they they initiated uh, they 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 initiated that um, they need people in order for for the research the priest to be able to um, be restored because. Um, through time, like before they had um, abundance of trees, and now like the trees may be washed away by floods or like uh, the people out from the community are, are the ones who cut down there, but they feel like they, they, they are inferior over these people. So like even though they, they, they try to um, address their issue there, like they feel like the, the the, we, the Ateneo and Culture Institute, are the, are the only ones who like consider them because um, one of my advocacy is to recognize the um, minorities and at the same way recognizing the needs in their community. Are you this is a job? No. <coughs> like, no uh, more, more of, um, like, uh, there are, are still uh, Sabanes, mm -hmm. and like uh, the the, parent, the the elders there um, are, are really natives. So, uh, and then if you plant these trees, at the same numbers, right? And then how do you know that people will cut the trees? Um, since it is it is a continuous process. So after. This piece, I, I I give you the assurance that um, it is monitored because as uh, what Sir Ray um, suggested, I will involve the students in planting this tree. So it would be a uh, body system. For example, I bring a volunteer. So that volunteer will work with another kid. So it will be like the kid owns the tree. So like he will he or she will like water it or something like that. So. And the tree will probably not be mahogany, but generally. Yeah. 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 with 
Kennedy. She is the community leader there. So. And what did you learn here in the United States about the environment? Yeah, as what I mentioned, the environmental justice. Because I feel like um, the the people in, in, in the city itself, like they they are taking for granted the presence of these minorities. Like as what has mentioned, like um, it, it gives us the implication that since uh, they are the minorities, it, it is okay to transfer everything uh, like burdens into their community instead of like having the effects in our particular community. So um, not only that, I have um, realized or learned that uh, in this in this small communities, these are the parts that uh, will these are these are the start of having us change our, our environment because smaller kids make up the big kids. I'm um, 